Ever rolled your eyes at games promising easy money? I did too, until I stumbled upon Pixels. In this video, I'll guide you through earning real money exclusively with Pixels, a leading play-to-earn game. Let's explore the earning potential of Pixels. Welcome to Crypto Bookworm, your go-to channel for easy-to-grasp crypto education. My name is Jim and I'm here to break down the complexities of the digital asset world into bite-sized animated lessons. I believe crypto is the future of finance and I want to help you make sense of it all. So, right off the bat, what is Pixels? It's a play-to-earn game that allows players to use NFT avatars as digital assets in an ecologically modeled system. Players are allowed to gather real-time rewards as they progress in the game. The ability to make money was what made me try out Pixels. At first I thought it was going to be complicated, as the Web3 and blockchain multiverse can be a lot to take in. But Pixels was pretty much just simple and interesting. I first played the game as a guest. Although my game progress wasn't saved, I was able to get the hang of it and find out if I could cash in from the game for real. When I first heard of Pixels, I had read that one could make $100 per day. Well, my desperation to stop being deadass broke and the ultimate desire to stock up my fridge led me to giving Pixels a shot. I chose an NFT avatar I felt suited my persona and started sowing seeds and harvesting crops right away. Although what I made was a far cry from $100, I did make some money, but it involved other processes aside from just playing the game. Now, how does the Pixels game work? First, you need to log into the Pixels website. After logging in, you'll see an option to connect with Metaverse or continue as a guest. Either way, you'll have to choose an NFT digital avatar. If you have a Metaverse account already, you can easily continue playing with that avatar. However, if you logged in as a guest, you'll have to create an avatar. Your avatar must be among the assets integrated into the Pixels universe. So the OpenSea Marketplace is a suitable place to find one for yourself. Once your avatar is ready, you can choose a world to play in. The first stage of the game is in a town square setting where you can link up and chat with other players. Then you can start your quests. But first, you'll have to find Mayor Dave in Terrace Villa. He's an important part of the game, as he is your guide. That's nice, right? I'll bet you wish your first day in college was this smooth. To control your avatar, you use the WASD keys, which anybody who's ever played a PC game is already familiar with. Now I would like to tell you about your most important limited resources in the game. Drumroll please. Let's have it for energy. You literally need energy for everything. For instance, you need up to two energy points to sow seeds, 0.5 energy points for every time you water your seeds, and it takes an average of 3.5 energy points to plow your farm. So, as you can already see, you'll be consuming a lot of energy in the game. Energy that'll have to be earned back. Here are some efficient ways you can replenish your energy. You can boost your energy in the sauna. Each round provides 240 energy points. But if the sauna is too slow for you, you can opt for the energy drinks. So having dealt with that, let's proceed to how you can have the time of your life while playing Pixels. Although Pixels might not seem very exciting at first, especially with its retro and downright old-fashioned graphics, it does become very interesting once you get the hang of it. So let's quickly dig into the ways you can thoroughly enjoy playing Pixels. First, you can have fun with the aesthetics. You can grow your own farmland and personalize your own Pixels avatar. Your avatar can have very unique and distinct features, and it can be just the way you like it. Then, having your own farmland can be a lot more exciting. Since the farmland is in your control, you can grow and nurture it at your own pace. You get to decorate it to your taste, and also level it up, and host other players on your farmland. And well, I don't think it hurts to make other players leave with some feelings of envy. You can also enjoy the community spirit the game offers. You can interact with other players and visit other farmlands for competitions. For example, you can compete to get listed on the Barry Millionaire's leaderboard. Recently, Pixel surprised the gaming world as it left Polygon for a more promising blockchain. Pixels announced that it had joined the Ronin blockchain in October. However, this left the game world wondering what the big change would mean for gamers. Well, Pixels believes that it's going to be a swell time for its players. The COO of Pixels said that the company had ported to Ronin because of the support and scalability it offers. Ronin has been in the blockchain business for a minute, so it's sure to provide players with a fantastic gaming experience. Its expertise in the Web3 universe gives players an opportunity to earn without fuss. Gamers can get their buried tokens directly using their Ronin wallets. Now I am getting closer to the moment you've been waiting for. We all know you're here for the dough, but how will you make it if you don't know which features to look out for? So listen up. First is the farmland. That's what the game is centered on. It's safe to say that Pixels draws its inspiration from games like Animal Crossing and Stardew Valley. 
Anyway, you're given a farmland. Your progress in the game depends on how well you can farm resources, cook food, and hatch and train pets. Now the question is, how fast can you transform from a techie to a farm boy? Pets are another interesting feature of Pixels. Each player has a right to one pet. Your pet serves as a sort of companion in the game, like a real-life puppy or kitty. However, it is also your duty to keep your pet happy and well-nourished. Pets provide additional storage, so if you'd like to get extra storage, you're going to want to keep your pet sated. Pets are essentially art designed to act as a symbol in your game. But you should know that you don't just immediately get a pet at the beginning. You have to mint your pet in-game. All you need to do is acquire a pet capsule by playing carnival games. After that, you'll go through several necessary steps to mint your pet. I can imagine the different questions that are running through your mind. Important questions like, how can farmlands and pets make your pockets heavier? Is the idea of making money from pixels actually just a scam? What are the necessary steps? Is there a point system in the game? How much money can you make from each game? Now, I know these are all issues of pressing concern, so let me just get right to it. Pixels has game features called Berry and Pixel, which are tokens awarded to players. Berry is a primary in-game token that you can use to purchase items in the game store, like our very own precious dollars. You can also get paid Berry for the items you sell in the game. Pixels are a premium token, and only 100,000 pixels are mined every day to be distributed amongst active players. Pixels are what you use to purchase cosmetics, upgrades, and items. These tokens, however, can be monetized and you can get rewarded for real. Since Pixels works entirely on blockchain, which you would agree is good news, active players can earn actual cash by selling and purchasing items, avatars, tools, pets, and farmland on the OpenSea and Marvis marketplaces. Now, how does this increase your bank account? Well, as you continue to progress in the game, your pet NFTs and Pixels avatar NFTs will continue to generate more revenue and value. So when you list your avatar NFTs for sale on OpenSea and your pet NFTs on Marvis, you can sell them and make actual money. Now, it's not $100 per day as alluded to earlier, but it's worth a try. I hope I've cleared up any confusion you might have had on this topic. If you found it helpful, a thumbs up and subscribing is always appreciated. Also, for those tired of missing out on crypto airdrops and watching others rake in free tokens, you won't want to miss my previous video.